This is the Let's Pretend story of One Eye, Two Eyes, Three Eyes. Come one, come all, the big and small, we're here with Let's Pretend. You'll laugh, you'll cry, and wonder why until the very end. The joy of storytelling to all we do extend. So give a cheer, cause look what's here, another Let's Pretend. Hello, pretenders. Hello, Uncle Ted. Who's going to say how we're going to travel to Let's Pretend? You're going to have to tell us, Uncle Ted. We can't think of a thing. Well, I'll have to think of something different. I know. Let's go by helicopter. Great. Great. Helen, can you arrange for a nice large helicopter? One whirly bird coming up. One, two, three. <laughs> All set. Everyone aboard? You do bet. For one eye, two eyes, three eyes. Once upon a time, when enchantments took place almost every day, three sisters, one eye, two eyes, three eyes, and their mother lived together in a little cottage below the magic waterfall. As our story begins, poor unhappy Two Eyes, cruel mother, and envious sisters have sent her out, hungry and alone, to tend their little goat as it grazes on the soft green grass. <laughs> oh, what can I do, little goat? How can I go on living so miserable and lonely? I'm so hungry, too. <laughs> Oh, I know you're sorry. You are kind, at least. But I can't stand it. I've tried every way I know to win their love, but it's no use. Oh, I wish I had someone who loved me. There, there, little two eyes. Why do you weep? Oh, where did you come from, lovely lady? Who are you? I am your fairy godmother. Come, come, dry your pretty eyes. You have wept so many tears, there's a puddle of water at your feet. Uh, are you really my fairy godmother? Yes, my dear. Now tell me, why are you crying? Because my mother and sisters are so cruel to me. I wouldn't mind doing all the work if they'd only love me a little, but they don't. But why are they unkind and cruel to you? There must be a reason. Because, you see, I have two eyes, just like everybody else. But one of my sisters has just one eye. I begin to understand. And the other sister has three eyes, two just like ours, and a third in the middle of her forehead, which works separately from the other two. And that's why they treat you as they do. But now that you're here with me, I don't seem to have any troubles anymore. But you are hungry, aren't you? <laughs> yes, but I'd almost forgotten it. Just looking at you, you are so lovely. Now let me tell you how I can help when you are hungry, say to your little goat here, Little goat bleat, little elves here, little table of food, I'm hungry, appear. And then, fairy godmother? When you have said that, a little table filled with all the food you can possibly eat will be whisked out of nowhere, right by your side. Oh, how lovely! And what fun! Oh, fairy godmother, you have made me so happy. Thank you, thank you. Your gratitude is becoming two eyes. Oh, Another thing, when you have finished, you must say, Little goat bleat, I have enough for today. Little elves here, take the table away. And whisk, it's gone. Will you remember that? Oh, yes. I'll leave you now. Now that you've called me, you will see and hear from me again. Farewell, my daughter. Goodbye, lovely lady. And thank you again. Three eyes. Yes, That's yes, what is yes, it? Yes. Come here. Well, what are you yelling about? I have a good reason. Have you noticed anything about two eyes lately? Yes, one eye, I have. For days now, she hasn't eaten any of the scraps of food we leave. Exactly. Now, who's feeding her? What's she doing behind our backs? I'd certainly like to know. Well, I, for one, intend to find out. 
Tomorrow, I shall go with her to tend the goat and see just what she does all day. A good idea, One-Eye. If she's begging food from strangers, I'll beat the life out of her. I'll help you. And so will I. This is quite a walk for you, One-Eye. You're not used to going so far, are you? No, I'm not. I'm beastly tired. I tell you, why not rest here under this shady tree for a while, One-Eye? Well, I guess I will lie down for a minute. Oh, my feet. I'm exhausted. You just close your eye and rest. Oh, what a walk. Little One-Eye, for my sake... Rest you here, are you awake? Little one eye, quiet keep. Little one eye, are you asleep? <laughs> Sound asleep. Now for my lunch. Little goat bleat, little elf's here. Little table of food. I'm hungry. Appear. <coughs> what lovely food. Oh, little goat, isn't it fun? Pleasant dreams, sweet little one eye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What did you find out? Yes, come on. We, we could hardly wait. What did you see? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Did you watch all the time? Every minute. I never took my one eye off of her. You didn't go to sleep or anything? No, of course not. I kept awake every minute. I tell you, not one thing escaped me. I don't believe it. I shall go myself tomorrow. I bet you I'll find out something. Very well, then, Smarty. Go right ahead. And much good may the long walk do you. Uh, We've walked a long way. Are you tired, Three Eyes? Certainly I'm tired. Who wouldn't be after that walk? Well, why not rest here for a little while? It's, it's nice and cool and shady. <laughs> Best idea you ever had. Oh, I walk blisters on both feet. You'll be all rested after a little nap. Why not close your eyes? That's it. Little two eyes for my sake. Rest you here. Are you awake? Little two eyes quiet keep. Little two eyes. Are you asleep? <laughs> oh, what luck. Oh, she's sound asleep, and I'm starved. Now for my steaming hot luncheon. Little goat bleat, little elf's here. Little table of food, I'm hungry, appear. <laughs> oh, isn't that a beautiful-looking table, little goat? Come on. Here's your share. So, that's what you do. <gasps> oh, three eyes. I thought you were asleep. So two of my eyes were. You forgot when you sang little two eyes that I had three of them, didn't you? <laughs> and the third one saw everything you did, you little, you little vixen. <gasps> what are you going to do with that knife? Your little goat won't give you any better food than we have. I'll settle her right now. Uh, oh, oh, sister, don't. Uh, don't. There's your precious little goat. She won't bother you anymore. <laughs> oh, three eyes. You've killed her. How could you? <laughs> no wonder you wouldn't eat scraps anymore. I'm going straight home and tell mother what you did. Oh, poor little goat. Oh, 
Oh, fairy godmother, I need your help. Please hear me and come to me. Poor little unhappy two eyes. Oh, fairy godmother, I'm so glad to see you. Do you see what that cruel girl has done? Yes, dear. But come, don't weep. Dry your eyes and let me tell you what to do. All right. Tonight, after everyone has gone to bed, take the head of your little goat and bury it by the front door of your home. Will you do that? Why, yes, I will. But, Godmother, why should I do such a strange thing? You'll find out. Just do as I say, and then see what will happen tomorrow. And so, Two Eyes did as her godmother asked. And when her unhappy deed was done, she went to bed with a sad and heavy heart. But then, the next morning... Three Eyes, One Eye, Two Eyes, come here and see what has happened. What? What is it, Mother? What's wrong with you, Mother? Look, 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 right by our front doorstep. Oh, very good, Mother. Just look at it. A tree taller than a house. How Perfectly wonderful. What a beautiful tree. And it's grown overnight. Uh, how far does it go? Drat this one eye. I, I can't see. Tell me, three eyes, how tall is it? It goes up and up. Oh, you two and your crazy eyes. Don't you see the fruit on it? There's a lot of it. And it shines as if it were polished. It's all gold and silver. Well, for goodness sake, so it is. And every kind that grows. And all in one tree. It's magic. Well, who cares? It, you two climb up and pick some of that luscious-looking silver fruit. Yeah, not you two eyes. Remember, you're not to touch one thing on this tree. No, sir. This belongs to us. Give me a boost, three eyes. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 then uh, get that gold and, and silver fruit. Go on. All right. Oh, what's the matter with it? Nothing's the matter with it. What's wrong with you? Why don't you hand me some of the fruit? I can't blame it. Every time I reach for a limb, it snaps right out of my hand as if it didn't want me to touch it. Oh, you make me sick. Let me get at it. Oh, go ahead, three eyes. You certainly can't do worse. <laughs> Well, for heaven's sakes, what's the matter with it? <laughs> I'll do it. There. Oh, my goodness. Huh. You're not so smart after all. It snaps away from you, too. May I try, Mother? Perhaps I can reach it. Well, come here. I'll boost you up. Oh, that's all right. I can make it. There, Mother. Here's a big golden peach for you. Catch. Ah. That's more like it. Well, say what you want. That nasty little two eyes is a witch. Wait a minute, girls. There's there's a crowd of people coming along the road. One of them has plumes in his hat. Well, for heaven's sake, if it's anybody important, get this two eyed brat out of sight. They're turning in here. Hey, hey, come on, two eyes. Hey, it looks like it might be someone from the castle. <gasps> it, it is. It, girls, it's. It's the prince himself. Oh. It, hurry up, Two Eyes. But get I... down and get out of sight. Go on, go on. Go on. Oh. Crawl under that wash tub. Oh. Get under it quickly. Oh, very well, Mother. One eye, three eyes. Come down quickly. Good morning, madam. Oh, good morning, good morning Your morning, Highness. Sire. <laughs> oh, good morning, Your Highness. You do our house great honor, sire. Yes, Your Highness, indeed you do. <laughs> what can we do for Your Highness? Tell me of this marvelous tree. My counselor and I were attracted by its unusual brilliance, so we wrote in to ask about it. From the road, the sun's rays fall on it, and it sparkled like silver and gold. Oh, oh it, it is marvelous, sire. And as you see, the fruit is all gold and silver, and there's every variety on the one tree. Most extraordinary. Who owns this marvelous tree? Oh, the tree belongs to my two lovely daughters, sire. This is three eyes, and this is one eye. Indeed. Well then, young ladies, if I'm not asking too much, I should like to sample such gorgeous-looking fruit. 
Uh, will you be so generous and give me some of it? Oh, of course. Oh, yes. Yes. Counselor, uh, assist the ladies into the tree. Mm-hmm. Yes, your highness. Oh, well, thank you, Counselor. There we are. Now, 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 <clears throat> what would you like? Anything you can reach easily. Well, will this do? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's too, too far out. Here, this limb is closer. Now, will this... Oh, it seems to slip. I... I'll get a better footing. <laughs> I uh, I don't know what's the matter with three eyes, your highness. <laughs> she must be nervous. Yeah, one eye, help her. Yes, mother. This tree becomes more and more curious. It's almost human, the way the branches move. Counselor, do you see the way the limbs snap out of reach? Yes, sire, I do. Your highness, here is a... Oh! Look, that limb deliberately pulled away from her hand. I saw it. And so did I. Most amazing, sire. Like enchantment. I shall get you some of it, Prince. Or no other reason. Why? Why, why, look, madam. Here's a silver pear right at my feet. Where did it come from? Why, why, uh, uh, three eyes must have thrown it down from the tree. <laughs> yes, didn't you, dear? Didn't I want? No, she didn't. Look, it comes from under that tub. Here comes a golden plum. Counselor, turn that tub over. I want to see what's under there. (laughs) A girl. And a pretty one, too. (laughs) Oh, Mother, forgive me, but I just couldn't help it. I'll take this up with you later, Two Eyes. And who is this little beauty? Uh, This is Two Eyes, my youngest daughter, Your Highness. How do you do, sire? I'm very well. No. But why were you hiding under the tub? Uh, We put her under the tub because her manners are so poor. We hated to have you see her, sire. Why, Mother, how can you say such a... I think I understand, Miss Two Eyes. You are much too lovely to conceal under a tub. Thank you, sire. You are kind. I wonder if you could gather some of this fruit for me. Your sisters seem to be, uh, (laughs) unfortunate in their efforts. Do you think you could? Why, of course. I'd like to very much. May I help you, Miss Two Eyes? Oh, I see you don't need any help, do you? No, Counselor. What fruit would you like? Anything. All right. There's a silver pear. There's a golden apricot. Catch. (laughs) Oh, you're good. And you're wonderful. The fruit falls into your hands before you even touch it. Three eyes and one eye... If I were you, I think I'd come down. It would seem that Two Eyes is the only one who can gather the fruit. I'll fix you for this. And so will I, you little cat. Uh, What were you saying? What? Oh, I said, uh, that's that. I thought so. Come down out of that tree, all of you. Oh, all right. Little lady, I want to ask you a few questions. Yes, sire. Whose tree is this? It's mine, your highness. How dare you say that, two eyes? You know it isn't. It is plain to be seen, madam. No one else can gather the fruit. And, of course, the tree is magic. Go on, please, two eyes. My fairy godmother gave it to me, sire. She told me to bury the head of my poor little goat in this spot. I did. And overnight, the gold and silver fruit tree grew. You come here to me, you you brat. Silence, all of you. You've talked enough. You're not very happy here, are you, Two Eyes? Well, I... Tell me truthfully. No, sire, I'm not. My dear, I understood the situation the moment I saw the first fruit fall in your hands. Little lady, will you come with me to the castle? To the castle, your highness? Yes, I want to take you to my mother, the queen. And someday, when you and I know each other better, I want to ask you if... If what, your highness? If you will do me the honor to become my wife. May I take you to my mother now? Oh, yes, Your Highness. I shall be so very happy. And and what becomes of us, pray? I would suggest you ladies stay here and sweeten your dispositions. Come, Two Eyes. Lift her up in the saddle, Counselor. Yes, Your Highness. Are you comfortable? Perfectly, thank you, sire. And now, ladies, you may say farewell. Oh, don't come back. Good business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Now, that isn't the proper way. Remember, this lady is your future queen. 
As loyal subjects, you will curtsy to the ground. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. oh I would oh, not have heard it cheaper than We're waiting for your curtsies. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh. Oh. That's more like it. Little lady, what will you do with the magic tree? I shall be glad to give it to my sisters. <laughs> but they can't gather the fruit. Oh, I didn't think of that. Well, perhaps if they will promise to be less cruel and selfish, I'll ask my fairy godmother to release the fruit. Fairy Godmother, wherever you are, would you do that? Ow! Ooh, ow! Ow! That golden banana hit me right in the head. <laughs> what a pity it wasn't a brass watermelon. What a pity! <laughs> Good day, ladies. <laughs> Thank you.